Hi guys, welcome to Bit Nibble Bite. Today we are going back to the basics with a vocabulary video. This is for anyone who's new to programming or who would just like a refresher on common terms. A lot of these concepts will be incorporated into all other videos, so this is a great place to start. If this sounds interesting, stay tuned. I'll start the video with the difference between hardware and software. These are terms you've probably heard before, but I'll go over the formal definitions. Hardware refers to the physical components of your computer, the things that you could touch, such as the keys, the mouse, the processor, while software is the set of instructions for the hardware to execute. As a programmer, you'll want to create a program. That's a piece of software. A file saved on your computer containing instructions for the hardware, such as manipulate the data found at this memory location. Code is the instructions found within your program. Code has both syntax and semantics. Syntax is the form specified by the programming language you're using. Semantics is the meaning behind your code, or the function you want it to achieve. So let's put all of that together. You've learned that a program is a piece of software that contains code as instructions to be executed by the hardware. Your code will have syntax. That's specified by the programming language you're using. Semantics is what you want your program to achieve. This leads into two potential issues for your program. If the syntax is incorrect, your form is not correct based on the programming language you're using. If your semantics is not correct, your form could be correct but not execute the way you intended. Next is the actual act of programming or writing code. You can write code in a text editor, which is a place where you can write text, such as Notepad or Sublime, as you've already seen. A debugger is a tool that finds mistakes or bugs in your code. This can find syntax mistakes, but not semantics. A fancier kind of text editor is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. This is a text editor with additional coding tools, such as a debugger or a compiler, which we'll get to next. It's easier to code in a high-level language. This language gives you words such as if and loop, things that you'd recognize in English. This is compiled into a lower-level language for the computer which recognizes things in terms of 1 and 0 or on and off. Compiling also creates an executable file. A compiler is a tool that allows you to compile your code. This executable file allows you to run or execute your code. It is the computer executing the instructions of your program. A commonly used tool for this is a terminal or command line interface. This is an interface to execute text-based commands. We can see an example of all these terms through a simple Hello World Java program. My program is a piece of software, the file saved on my computer containing instructions for the computer, and those instructions are referred to as my code. Java works a little bit differently when it's compiled, but we're still going to translate a high-level language to a lower-level language. No errors or bugs were displayed to the screen. This means that the syntax of my program was solid and correct. I can then run or execute the class file generated. Hello world is printed to the screen as intended, meaning the semantics of my program are also solid. I hope this video was helpful in clarifying any confusing terms, and if you're just getting started, I hope this gave you confidence to move forward. If there's anything still that stands out or is confusing, please comment below and I can incorporate that into future videos. I'll be continuing the Java series with classes and objects. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Until next time, guys.